Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a what you're not expecting to happen forecast for April 1st through the 15th. Now, I want to kind of touch on what these readings are for. These are kind of predictive readings to give you a heads up on any energy that may come up, okay? There is going to be things that come up randomly that we just cannot control in life. That's just how life is. So this reading is just going to be an overview to see what energies are like I said coming towards you now everything I say is not going to be personal to you if you do want more of a personal session I do recommend getting a five question reading with me for 20 to 22 that cell has been extended due to the fact that there is a lot of stuff going on in the world and I know people still need answers okay so check that out if you're interested link will be listed below and let's go ahead and kind of touch on what's going on with you guys okay what may come up that my Virgos, are, my Virgos are not expecting to happen in April 1st through the 15th? What may come up that my Virgos may not be expecting to happen that may affect them, good or bad? April 1st through the 15th. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. I like Nine of Pentacles. Wow. The Chariot and the Star card. What the heck, Virgos? Okay. Positive energy. This is... Being able to, for one, be independent and handle your own shit. For a lot of you, these times are really going to show you in the month of April that you're able to be independent. You're able to focus on what's important and actually get the goal or the mission done. Okay. There's going to be some forward movement because of the fact that you guys are really going to be believing in yourself in regards to your dreams, aspirations, and your goals. Um, if you're somebody who's working towards like stardom, um, as far as like in your career, I do see for a movement in regards to that, especially if you're a musician or somebody who's doing something that's like an artistic nature. Um, I'm also seeing an opportunity that's really going to help you manifest more money. If there has been a slow up on finances, there is going to be some forward movement. Now, make sure for some of you, what may also be an issue here is a character flaw. Some of you, you may have moments where one aspect of yourself and another aspect of yourself just do not work together. OK, you may be somebody who's, you know, very informative in certain cases, but then you may be very aggressive at the same time. And then that may kind of combat you being, you know, the person that you are in a sense. And spirits really asking you to control your emotions in certain situations because the way that you react and the way that you handle situations is actually a telltale sign whether or not you've healed from things. So for some of you, if you're still also recovering from a relationship, you may be realizing that you're actually on the verge of being completely healed from the damage that relationship may have done to you. Some of you also, I'm hearing that a vehicle, some of you may be purchasing a new vehicle or you guys may be having to fix a vehicle as well during this time frame. It may dip into your pockets just a little bit, okay? Yeah. Um, for some of you, like I said, there's going to be more money opportunities that are going to come in. And for some of you, these are opportunities that you already know are coming, okay? For some of you, this is something that you've created for yourself. Others of you, this is more of like money that's just coming your way. This doesn't even have to be money opportunities per se. This is money just coming your way. All right. And this is a good turnaround. A very good turnaround. You guys have a lot of positive cards. A lot of positive cards. Um, what I will say is if you are going to be getting any sort of new opportunities during this time frame, make sure you're using your intuition, make sure you don't have any people that are trying to take advantage of you, um, and make money off of you, especially if it's like non-traditional work. Virgos for March, I mean, not March, April 1st through the 15th. What are they not expecting to happen that may take place that I do need to forewarn them about? Virgos, April 1st through the 15th. Okay, so for a lot of you, you're going to gain a lot of insight on somebody who's really deceptive, whether this is somebody who's a family member, a person who you have children with, person who you're in a relationship with right now. 
it's going to be a different situation for everybody. These are lies being told by different individuals in different Virgos lives. Okay. But somebody's lies are no longer, or a false impression that they're trying to put up is no longer going to be able to withstand in the month of April. Okay. You guys are really going to start seeing the light in regards to people who are foul. All right. This could be at your job where it's like, they're lying to you. Like, Oh yeah, we're going to give more hours soon. Or we're going to keep you and then you find out that you're fired. Or you get me, like somebody here is purposely leaving out information. And it's going to come to your awareness here, okay? For a lot of you, nobody can really stop you from actually being successful though. I have victory and success, which is very positive. I have the throat chakra card and I also have fulfillment of wishes. For a lot of you, if you're somebody who's a public speaker, I am seeing that you will actually be uh, seeing an increase in viewership some of you I'm also seeing an increase in opportunities like I'm hearing like a speaking engagement this may be via um, online though and it may be very successful some of you also you may be even called to actually public speaking or doing something to where you are like again engaging your thoughts through your throat chakra. So letting people know information, giving information to others. Some of you also, you're going to speak up for yourself in regards to something that you feel like is not fair. And through you doing that, it's going to like kind of lift a weight off of your shoulders. It's kind of like when you tell that boss that you hate off finally like oh I hate you <laughs> I hated you this whole time and I just was waiting for the moment to tell you bitch I hate you no I'm sorry <laughs> but no seriously that that's what it's looking like all right let's keep going Virgos what are they not expecting to happen that may take place if you have elderly in your family like a grandmother or a mother Make sure they're okay because they may not be in the best mental space in regards to what's going on in the world. Or they may not be in the best mental space when it comes to you. They may be worried about you as their child or, you know, just worried about your well-being. Some of you, you may get your car towed. I just heard a random ass message. I'm just telling you guys things that may just come up randomly, okay? Some of you may get your car towed because you put it somewhere you're not supposed to. If you have your car or any like boat or something like that, somewhere where it doesn't need to be, you may get it towed. So be careful of that. Um... If you have any animals... Some of them may need some sort of checkup. They may not be feeling their best and they may need some sort of checkup, okay? Somebody is going to try to message you during this time frame who's blocked. It's either somebody who's blocked or they're, they're wanting to message you and then when they're right about to hit send, they just stop. But they're thinking about you. This is somebody who could be a recent ex, uh, ex-wife doesn't even have to be that recent this could be somebody who you broke up with like a year ago and it's like they've been wanting to reach out to you but it's like well what's the point point? and for some of you you may even be the type of person where it's like if you fuck up way too many times you can't come back and they kind of know that about you and they may be kind of staying far away from you because of that reason for some of you also there may be something that you may be waiting for in the mail it's not going to come during this time frame. Um, there may be a delay on your mail, on some sort of letter. For some of you, even communication, specifically from somebody who you're waiting to speak to. Yeah, for some of you also, if you want to see certain things manifest, you got to understand the power of tongue. Um, for some of you... Speaking what you want into existence and actually being clear on it is what the universe is actually waiting on you to do. So if you have been seeing a lack of opportunities coming in for you and things of that nature, that's because spirit doesn't even know what to put into your life because they're not aware of what you want. You may have instances where you think you know what you want and then when it comes to actually going for it, you realize, wait, I don't know. 
if this is something that I truly want. So it's like they want you to get clear on what you're expecting from them. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much, Virgos, for watching this. I know that this reading was, like I said, me picking up on energies that may come forward. If you did enjoy this, please make sure you thumbs this video up and subscribe. Uh, if you do want a personal session, you can get a five question reading for 2222. That still has been extended. Check it out. And yes, I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye, Virgos.